What's up y'all, DJ Nero here for another episode of Fatherhood Fraternity with Ava. Against all eyes, mama, I made it. You already know it's your favorite. I'm living my dreams, mama, I made it. Dad, 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 show him your nose. Nose, where's nose? Good job. Jeez. Well, I know it's been a little bit since I made a video. It's probably been about a week and a half. To me, it seems like an eternity because I've been so busy doing other things because you know I work a nine to five. I'm a husband, I'm a dad, I'm a DJ. I do photos, videos, podcast hosts, all those things. Not to brag or anything, I've been blessed with a lot of opportunity. So sometimes the videos are probably the last thing that I get to do because it takes so much time to do the editing. But anyways, we're here today, me and Ava, and she's growing up, she's almost 12 months now. At this moment, she has about two more weeks until her birthday. So we're excited for that, of course. I wish she could be excited. She'll know about it later. But anyways, let me give you a few updates on what I've been doing. So besides DJing, but um, I got to do some interviews at a concert last weekend, and it was just some of my favorite artists were involved, and I was just I'm blessed to have the opportunity. And here's some, yeah, your daddy got to meet all those people. And here's a little bit of footage of what I got. It's a pretty woman in Columbus, Ohio. I wish they would have showed up today. Yeah. Do you want to ride in the backseat of a Cadillac? Put another place on my hands and brace. Wanna play the back and smoke under my can of brace. Wanna come to rock it up with a leg while I'm in the loop. I can tell you when the best of a car man is racing. So, it was dope, it was a dope experience. That took up my whole weekend getting that together. So what we've been doing since the last video, the last video was about um, our first night without Ava. The month of May has been very, uh, I would say, emotional. I'm like too emotional right now, I can't. Like I'll have to run out real fast. Come on, guys. Yeah, I know, it's probably that time. That was a, a time that we really had to prepare ourselves mentally being away from Ava for the first time. Now, after we did that, at 11 months, we agreed that we would get Ava out of our bed and into her own crib. Disclaimer, I'm not here for any judgment. Yeah. Everybody parents differently. Everybody's against having your baby sleep with them. Um, of course, that's not the idealistic thing for us to do, but we have to do what we have to do. So, we've had Ava sleeping with us for the past 11 months. We didn't want this to be something that she did for the rest of her life. So we knew that once she got old enough and we trusted her enough to be able to sleep on her own, it was time for her to crib change. In the second season, you have to... Do you feel tall? Yeah, yeah. In the second... Do I got something on my face? Last time she touched my face with them crackers, I, had mess I messed up a whole piece. Yeah. So the last. All right, looks like I'm cool. So what we're doing now is crib training. Um, you can see in the second season, um, I try to get her a little introduced to her crib. She was not having it. She never really liked sleeping on her back. She, of course, she didn't want to be alone. And we really didn't know how to take her crying. I never wanted my daughter to cry it out. So knowing that we were leading up to the weekend of us crib training, we chose it was going to be. Memorial Day weekend. So it's a three day weekend. They said it takes about four to five days for the baby to get comfortable. And we were told that she was gonna be crying for an hour and to only check in every now and then. If we check in and it gets worse, don't check in. So we have our monitor. We have um, the crib, of course. It's already set up. Um, and we just really mentally had to be prepared for war. So our little princess um, has been a soldier. 
So the first night, like I said, was about 20 minutes of crying. 20 to 25 minutes of crying. Um, I tried to rub her back. I even put one of my shirts that I wore earlier that day in there so she could have my scent by her. And I just wanted her to learn how to calm herself down. Seeing my baby soothing herself the first time when she's like rubbing her hands together, crying. She's laying on her back, rubbing her hands together, crying. She's um, holding her feet, crying. And it just was breaking our hearts to see her on that monitor and not be able to go to be her rescue, which is what we've always wanted to do. But we're soldiers, we got through it. The next day, about 15 to 20 minutes she cried. We still were watching the screen. I probably should have just left the screen alone, but we had to make sure our baby was breathing. Um, and she found her own way to soothe herself once again. You trying to bite me? No, you got a cookie. So she got through that. The next night, about 10 minutes of crying, but she lay straight down. The fourth or fifth night, she knew what it was. What I've learned is that babies need a system. Uh, whatever system you give them, if you give them a system of love and affection, that's what they're gonna look forward to. So we've given her a system of her knowing that she has her time with us when we get off work and we get some play time, she has some free play time where she can play around with any, any of her toys or, or us, whatever she wants to do. But when it comes nine o'clock, we say night night. And once we say night night, take her upstairs and lay her in her crib and at this point now since day four or five she lays straight in the bed no issues no crying even when we close the door she doesn't cry she might play around with her feet a little bit or she might um play with um find a good position to sleep in but our baby the one we thought was so spoiled which was mostly us i guess now sleeps with no issues from 9 a.m to 5 a.m when she was with us, she would wake up in the middle of the night to get fed. Now she is cool. So parents, if you're going through the struggle, if you want to have your bed back, um, Chris, it's been one of the hardest things to go through, but one of the best and rewarding things to go through because she's growing so much. And it just shows that, yes, she's a human, and yes, God has her. She's being taken care of. She wakes up, we see her, we hug her. She's in a great mood. You always think like, oh my gosh, my baby's not gonna love me no more. Uh, not the case. She gonna be all right. Because we've given her a system, she's safe. It's in a controlled environment. We're fine, now we have time to do more work. And we have our one-on-one -on -one time. Me and my wife get to be husband and wife. So, take your bed back. Hashtag, take your bed back and um, allow your baby to have their own crib. So for now, that's all. Just know that you can get through it if your baby um, cries a lot. If you are strong, they will be strong and they'll actually get through it. So take a few days, make a safe place for your baby to sleep in and get your bed back.